Hello, it's Gary Fox, and we are getting ready to do tutorial number three on LibreCAD. Uh, what we're going to do is we first fire up the program. We now got the program up and running. We're going to load the previous version. It's called Part 2. And then I'm going to save this thing. I'm going to do a File Save As. And I'm going to call it Part 3, which there already is one, so it's going to yell at me. And it says, do you want to replace the one that already exists? And I'll say yes. Okay, uh, now we have saved this, and we called it Part 3, which is exactly the same as the way we ended up in Part 2. But the reason I'm doing that is if I goof up, which I seem to be doing a lot tonight. So I can start right back to where I was at. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to change these lines uh, because I noticed on the video the uh, red is very hard to see, so we're going to change them to yellow. That should show up nicely. The hidden line, we'll change it also from red to yellow. Just picking a color that makes it easy to see. Okay, what I want to do the next thing is I'd like to zoom out. And there's a couple ways. One is with this mouse roller button. But if your mouse doesn't have that, I believe it will work with this. Yes, it does. With this minus. And then there's a uh, thing here called zoom panning. And that will allow you to move it over. We're going to create a front view right here, which is on the wrong side. But we'll deal with that later on. Okay. What I'm going to do is a bunch of lines. And I want to be in bogus bogus green, a bunch of lines. We're going to go horizontal lines. And to start with, we're going to go to endpoints. We'll go to this endpoint, that endpoint, that one. And now I want a few uh, intersections because I'm going to get something about those circles. So we'll go to this one, this one, this one, and this one. And you can see it. I've extended all those lines sideways. I am now going to draw me a vertical line, a free position it somewhere below the uh, bottom one. And now I have that, okay. The front view is going to be 5.5 inches wide. So we're going to do an offset. Same functions we did. And we got to make it right, 5.5. So we set this distance up here, 5.5. And we will go text that line, and we get it. And we're still needing to zoom out just a little more because we don't quite have enough room. Okay. Now we've got the outline of our part. We could cut some of the stuff. As a matter of fact, let's do... Okay, I'm going to teach you a new trim function right now. So we're going to go to Modify. And this trim function right here is trim two lines, or extend two lines. And so what you do is you click on your first line, your second line, it trims both of them. Basically, this is the outside of our part. Okay, what we've got to do now is uh, have a few more lines. We'll go a few more offsets. So we'll go to line, we'll go to this one that says parallels with distance. And we've got two of them at 0.62. So we'll do this line right here, and we'll do this line right here. And then we got two of them at 0.75. And that will be 0.75 from that one. 0.75 from this one here. Okay, we are now starting to get our uh, our boxed in thing. So we're again ready to start trimming a whole bunch more lines. So we will go to the trim function, modify, trim. Okay, we will trim. And I did the wrong side, so we will go back. We'll trim that side. 
And then right here we're going to trim it at this point. And then uh, we have got here we can trim this and this. And actually we can go up here, trim that. And uh, then we can also stay right there and trim the other side the other direction. Okay, and while we're at it, let's trim this. And we can trim right here so we keep just that little piece. And we'll trim right here so we keep the front part. Okay, the other side is going to look exactly the same, so we'll do the same little procedures. The problem is we're already missing a few lines. So let's go ahead and draw a few more lines back in there. And that happens. Uh, and that's just one of the things you have to deal with. So we'll go right there and right there. Okay, and now we will go back to trim. Oops, wrong part of it. That's why there's that undo button. That undo button is great. <laughs> okay, now we can go back and we'll trim this one here. Okay, we're getting pretty close. Okay, we now have the front view of this thing. Now we got to show these hidden lines for this. So we will show those. And I'm going to run into the same problem I had before when I uh, trimmed. Where I'm going to lose my other half of my line. So we'll have to go back and create those lines again. And... Uh, we will do that right now. And we can go here. And we're going to make those hidden. Uh, we'll take care of two steps at once with this. Although it's not really going to save us a lot. Okay, and now we can uh, trim that. So we'll go back to trim. And I went too far. Trim. We have pretty much got this thing. Now well, we need change days. So let's go to modify entity. We'll make this thing hidden. And now we got to take care of the center line, which I'm going to draw it all the way through the whole thing. So what we'll do is we'll have to make two little bogus lines. Offset. Uh, I'm going to say a quarter inch. And we're going to leave that hidden. It doesn't matter at this point. And now we're going to uh, trim this thing. So we'll go back to trim. Trim here. Keep this side here and we'll keep this side now we change the line type and we'll make that a center and now we will uh, also delete those two trim lines that we created they were bogus and now we now have the front view. The only problem is the front view should be on that side. Should be on the right hand side of where we're at. So we're going to zoom out just a little bit more. 
And I'm going to show you a little different copy function than what we did last time. Okay, so we're going to do a copy. Move slash copy. And now when we select, we're going to select a whole window, which is this one right here. Select window. And we're going to make a window around the whole thing there. Okay, we've selected everything in that. We're ready to move on. Okay, for my first position, it really doesn't matter, but I'm going to go free positioning. But my second position really matters. Down here at these four little buttons at the bottom, this one says it's unlocked anywhere. Restrict nothing. That restricts it to orthogonal, and orthogonal means perpendicular, or in other words, in this case, straight up and down, or straight left and right. And this one says restrict horizontally, and that's the one we want. Now, I can, no matter where I move my cursor, I can only move that part directly horizontal from where it's at. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to delete the original. Do OK. I'm now going to go down here to uh, the select window. And we're going to uh, deselect window. I want to deselect everything. I'm sorry. We deselect everything and we now have our part and we have things positioned correctly. We're going to go to zoom full. And we are now done with this is the front view and this is the side view. Side view looking at that side right there which this is called orthogonal projection. It's the way that most uh, two dimensional drawings are done. Which is pretty much most drawings. So now we have that. Uh, let's see how much time I've got in this video. I've got enough. Uh, we'll come back and we will uh, start dimensioning this thing, which that pretty much sucks. I'm going to show you one more thing. Yeah, there's one more we forgot. Okay, I'm going to turn off all layers except for the uh, bogus green. So if you see these little eyeballs over here, we're going to turn off the center layer, turn off the hidden, turn off the layer zero. And now I'm going to select everything in the uh, window. So I select all, because that's, all those others are turned off. And now I'm going to do a uh, modify window, modify entities. So we go modify entities. And... Uh, We've already got them selected, so we hit continue, and we're going to set them all to zero. And you're going to say, oh man, you just messed up. Well, it's because I turned off zero already. But now as I turn it back on, everything has already changed. So that's a good way to only select the things you want to select. And like I said, you could turn off. If you want to turn off the center lines, turn them off. The other little button over there, that thing that looks like a lock, Right now they're all unlocked, but if I uh, lock it, and now let's say that I want to uh, try to uh, extend that line, so we're just going to create a bogus one here. Um, bogus line up above, up here. I got to get off of the uh, restrict everything. So I create a bogus line up there, and now I'm going to try to extend this. So I go to uh, Modify, Trim, Extend. This is my, my limiting entity, and it will not extend. However, if I turn that lock back off, it will extend, and we're going to undo that. So uh, now you see what the lock I do, and the lock I keep you from messing up if you're doing something that you don't really know. Uh, you can keep yourself from messing up that way. And uh, that comes in handy sometimes. We're going to uh, now delete this bogus line. We'll delete it. We've already renamed this thing to Part 3, so we're going to go ahead and save it. Uh, we've now saved it in just this method right here, right where it's at. So we're ready to go for uh, the next next video, the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Hope, hopefully you learned something. Thanks.